let's see an interesting memory allocation pattern of linux kernel This program is going to allocate memory in a loop and it is going to keep allocating 100 MB for every iteration in the while loop. And when the memory allocation fails, it is going to print how many GBSS memory is allocated and then it is going to execute the code. First, let's see how much memory is available in this machine. As you can see, this machine has total of 53 GB of memory and currently 7 plus 6 total around some 13 GB is available. Let's run the code and see how much it is allocating. As you can see, it has allocated 22 GB memory and then it exited. This is okay because this machine is having total of 53 GB of memory and the kernel can able to skew in some application into the other space and put something into the swap and then it can able to provide 22 GB of memory to this program. But if you see our code just allocates memory but it doesn't use the memory for any purpose. In that case, all the allocated memories are going to waste. So for programs like this, the kernel can simply say I allocated memory and then it can actually allocate the real memory when the program starts using it. You can tell the kernel to do that by modifying the variable called overcommit memory. Let's do that. Now let's execute the code and see how much memory it can able to allocate. This program has been killed for some reasons. Let's try to rerun it again. As you can see, it has allocated whopping 130,000 GBs. You can say the Linux kernel is playing games in the user space. 